Whether you like it or not, we've all heard of Twilight. And despite what you think of the franchise, it has definitely made its mark. Kristen Stewart is now the face of lesbian cinema, receiving nominations for Academy and Golden Globe Awards. Robert Pattinson has made his mark in both big budget and indie films, juggling Safdie brother projects, as well as donning the infamous bat suit. I'm vengeance. And Taylor Lautner, well, he's Taylor Lautner. Hey, friend. Need any help getting her out? I've always thought it was a fun and campy romp that will always be cherished just like other notable franchises. Despite a lot of the actors moving on from the Sparkly Project, the fans have not. And although I am not the target audience, I'll always remember taking my younger sister to see each and every film as they open in theaters. And beyond that, I'll never forget my lonely hungover Sundays watching New Moon as I shoved ramen down my throat, praying that the pain would go away. Enough about me. We've got a birthday to celebrate. When I found out my friend Jill was having a Twilight celebration, I thought it was only right that I'd reach out to a few of my friends. While most of my friends are wolves, you guys all know Corey Brown. One high-ranking member of Votori Guard wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Unfortunately, Canadian actor and stuntman Daniel Cudmore had an accident and his mouth is wired shut, but he still wanted to wish you well on your special day. Daniel portrayed Votori Felix in the Twilight Saga. Outside of Twilight, he is perhaps best known for his role as the superhero Colossus in the X-Men film series. Up next, we have Rick Mora, who played Ephraim Black. Hey, Jill, this is Ephraim Black from Twilight, dropping you a little birthday wish. Happy birthday. You're only 21 once. Thank your buddy Jesse. He's got lots of love for you. While Infram doesn't make an appearance in the book series, he was the Quillette warrior who appeared in the flashback sequence forming the treaty with Carlisle in the Twilight film. The part was credited only as Quillette warrior. However, it is known from the book that the Lee Quillette who formed the treaty with the Cullens was in fact Infram Black. And last but not least, my friend and Jacobs, we have Solomon Trimble, a.k.a. Sam Uli, with the rules for Jill's guest list to the party. You ever been a fan of a content creator and then they find out who you are? That's happening now. The exclusion list for Jill's birthday party. If you chew loud, you can't come here. If you're a man who calls women females, you can't come here. Dudes with trucker belt caps they only wear backwards, you can't come here. If you breathe through your mouth, you can't come here. Karen's can't come here. If you brought a dog and you had to bring the dog, it's got a drink outside, it can't drink an earshot of Jill. Uh, <laughs> no context capris. Uh, mansplaining, can't come here. Uh, and the birthday song. No singing sopranos, no sopranos. Sopranos are not a thing. You're singing falsetto and you're not impressing anyone. You can't come here. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jill. It's a pleasure, Jesse. Solomon was credited as Jacob's friend in the Twilight movie, but had Sam's lines from the book. The Cullens don't come here. And in an unfortunate and noticeable turn of events, Chasky Spencer replaces Solomon and the remainder of the franchise, betraying Sam in New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. Well, that's it. Happy birthday, Jill. And just like the end of this series, you can all see my thoughts. Special thanks to Daniel, Rick, and Solomon for helping me with this project. Now, let's hope that I can live happily ever after with Edward, right?